Shell-shocked Brent Ammerman checked into rehab and knew his crazy days of wild partying with socialite pal Lady Victoria Hervey were over. He had hit a wall after three years of mixing with Hollywood A-listers, and blowing a fortune on drugs. There were blurred memories of a night at Mickey Rourke's, Victoria's threesome with singer Mel B and estranged husband Stephen Belafonte, meetings with countless stars, and the demise of a pet dog named Zulu who ended up in a freezer. Brent decided it was time to get out. Before the lifestyle killed him. Now, as the 34-year-old looks back at photos of him and the former British It Girl, he shudders at what might have been. And he tells the Sunday Mirror how their friendship turned sour after, he claims, they fell out over a joint business venture. Brent, who lived with Victoria in the Hollywood Hills, said, Victoria and I were friends for three years, I thought we were friends. But I feel she was using me. Looking back I sometimes miss all the glitz and the glamour. They were crazy times. Then I think about the bad side. I wouldn't be alive anymore if I had carried on. Brandt met the 41-year-old daughter of the Marquis of Bristol after she moved to Tinseltown from London to try acting. She failed at that but became a reality TV regular, and is currently on ITV2's Celebrity Showments. Fashion-loving Brent and Victoria became best friends after living in the same apartment block in the Hollywood Hills in 2005. Brent, who is gay and now happily married, said, she seemed nice and good fun. We started hanging out and then I stayed in her flat to look after her dogs when she went on Celebrity Love Island in Fiji. I wasn't working. My parents, who lived in Texas, were wealthy and were supporting me. I was having an incredible time going to Oscar parties, Emmy parties, and I had so much fun meeting real stars. His Facebook pages are awash with pictures of the pair alongside the likes of Oscar winner Jeffrey Rush, Gerard Butler, Ian Gruffudd, and Rourke. Brent added, we would be going to parties three or four times a week and I would buy a few hundred dollars of drugs a couple of times a week. She never took any money out. She had an attitude that she deserved everything and didn't need to pay for it. She said she was training me to do the same. There is no suggestion Victoria took the drugs Brent bought. He said, she was always using her posh English accent to get her way. To be fair, whenever older men would buy her drinks, she would always make them get me one too. I was enthralled with her. I was swept away by the parties and lifestyle she introduced me to. But often the pair would party to excess. He recalled, I remember having to carry her to bed quite a few times. When she came back from a Burning Man festival she was completed wasted. I also saved her one night. We were at a party and she was drunk walking on the cover of a swimming pool when it started to collapse. Luckily, I was able to drag her out. Another time, Brent ended up chaperoning her back to Mickey Rourke's. He said, I know Mickey didn't want me along for the ride but I ended up in his minder's car. He was hammering through the Hollywood Hills for ages before we got there, to a house full of dogs. I remember waking up the next morning in Mickey Rourke's house without any shoes on. Other parties in Beverly Hills stick in my mind. At an art dealer's house I remember doing cocaine in this room, mirrors everywhere. I'm sure that there must have been cameras. Brent told how, in 2007. He picked Victoria up from the home of former Spice Girl Mel B and Stephen Belafonte, both 42. It was revealed in April that she had a drunken threesome with the couple, who are now locked in a divorce battle. Things started to turn sour between him and Victoria when, Brent claims, their plans to open a vintage clothing business together hit the skids. He went on, I'm a trusting person and try to see the best in people. But little things started to happen. Brent said that he and Victoria had decided to work together selling vintage designer frocks that he had collected over the years. They were going to call their shop The Lady and the Lion, after Brent's long hair at the time and Victoria's love of the Narnia stories. But it never opened because Brent's parents stepped in and forced him to go into rehab because of his drinking. 
he revealed, the partying had become too much for me. That's why my parents made me go to rehab. It's also why our business never got off the ground. Victoria blamed me for that. Brent said there was a big falling out over what should happen to the stock of dresses they had planned to sell. My parents were too concerned with my recovery, he added. But I will never forgive her for the way she treated me and them. Brent, who now runs clothing website Brent Edward Vintage, also claims Victoria's pet Zulu, a Norfolk Terrier, died after being left with a dog sitter. He added, the sitter called me saying Zulu was in the freezer because he hadn't been able to get hold of Victoria for weeks. Victoria will be seen alongside former Tottenham soccer star Jamie O'Hara, 31, on ITV2 on Wednesday in the final episode of Celebrity Showments, in which six single celebrities hook up. Victoria who has always denied taking drugs, last night told the Sunday Mirror that Brand was a friend I knew briefly ten years ago and described his claims about her as absolute nonsense.